<laughs> Lord, so anyway, uh, I started the Sigonite Review nine years ago. And I, uh, the University of West Alabama, they had a, um, they had a center for the study of the Black Belt region. And so when they saw what I was proposing and what I was going to try to do and have a radio show and a television show and, and then it really showcased the artists from this part of the world, they said, oh, we've got to, have, we've got to be a part of that. It's been a great partnership. And they've allowed me, although I own it, but, but I'm in deep partnership with them because I really respect their loyalty, is not only we have University of West Alabama Lewiston, we come over here to the Temple Theater and we do 12 tapings over here. So it's just really fantastic, you know. When you look back at music, yes, you can point to Jimmy Rogers and the Carter family for country music. But Elvis and the Elverly brothers, they took that country background and foundation and they really had a new sound, a new feel, a new groove to music. And of course we call it rock rockabilly or rock and roll, whatever you want to call it. It really should just be labeled really good music. And so uh, it was really exciting to uh, be a part of that. Musicians find us, I mean really, because I mean everybody likes a, a family friendly stage and, and one that has the sound qualities of the Temple Theater. These are rare. I mean there's probably not more than 10 in the whole United States that have the sound quality of this room. And you've got 1,300. 25 seats out there, and so, you know, it's a, it's it's one of those venues people want to play. So, and they know about our show, and they know about our show all the way from Kentucky to down to Florida, over yeah. to uh, Missouri. I mean, Arkansas, all these places, Texas. They know about. It. I mean, we have people from all these places, but we center in on the music from here, from this part of the world of Alabama, West Alabama, East Mississippi.